YouTube, what is the word? Your boy is back. Just know it's been mad long since I've seen y'all. It's been like, what, a few months maybe? Like before summertime? I just didn't have time to drop videos consistently. You feel me? I don't want to drop videos like once a month type of video. I don't want to be consistent. I want to drop like twice a week. I have more time to drop videos. And just know I got this big back to school haul because you know, your boy on the side, you feel me? Been dripping out, you feel me? I've been copying some mad drip, going to thrift stores, took a trip to New York. So I'm about to show y'all all the stuff I got from this summer. Uh, I'm gonna probably be rocking all these when I go back to school, take my classes and stuff. So yeah, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you go follow my, you feel me? Follow my Instagram. I be dripping, you feel me? I try to get into Molly and stuff. Yeah, man. Let's get into it. First item I got is this puffer crossbody bag from this small brand called Revan Nice. I'll put the link in the description to check out their website um but yeah they have a whole bunch of different colors in these they have a red one they had a black one with like green skulls on it mad fire uh just know i've been waiting for this like like, a, like probably a couple months i ordered it probably like around like may and it came in like august before i went to new york so it's definitely useful when i had like mad stuff in my pockets you feel me i could put it right in here yeah a little compartment in the back as you see you got the Revan knights logo right there too as well you got mass space inside here you can put a whole bunch of like look if you if you're from the trenches you feel me from the block feel me this is for you right here you feel me i ain't gonna lie but yeah patent leather material very good quality i paid probably like maybe like 130 probably the most so yeah man next item next time i got is this vintage tommy here figure crossbody bag i know it's the second black crossbody bag already um but yeah this one's a vintage one this is like more like an everyday one that was more like wow like i'm trying to pop out go crazy for me trying to be something different this is more like every day i wear this to work or maybe if i go to school like i have one class i don't need to bring like books and stuff i can just bring this right here it's good to have it for like an everyday thing you know what i mean logo i got this from uh this thrift store called garment district it's in cambridge mass so all my massachusetts people you know I'm from mass you feel me cambridge go check them out um i also did a little tiktok in there too so go follow my tiktok it's in the link in the description go follow that run that shit up and yeah man good material leather got two zippers right here you can put stuff right here and yeah man ain't nothing much to it though you feel me next item all right something i got is this ikea bucket hats i know what you're thinking like yo why you get ikea bucket hat? i don't know i just seen it in there it was three dollars it looked different so i was like yeah i'm copying this um but yeah it's fire man i'm gonna come over with a fit though you feel me watch like I i'm about to go crazy though so make sure you follow my instagram word like <laughs> i'm promoting this bit you know, follow my instagram right now man um but yeah I'm not coming with some crazy fit with this, so stay tuned for that. And yeah. Next item. Next item I got is this all white bucket hat that I caught from HM. I think I paid probably the most is probably nine dollars. I like the way it fits. It kind of looks like a like a cowboy hat. Like it doesn't sit like all the way down like a normal bucket hat. It kind of sticks up. I kinda like the look of that you know what i mean i don't really mess with h&m like that because i, I don't really mess with their materials the materials like kind of mid you know what i mean it kind of mid i ain't gonna lie but you know what i mean if you need essentials i definitely say h&m zara's definitely definitely the wave if you need like a simple essentials um but yeah next next time i got are these sunglasses right here i don't have a brand name for these but they look fire, so I was like, yo, I had to get these. These were like $9. I got from this uh, consignment store called Buffalo Exchange. I went to the one in Brookline. I definitely messed with these sunglasses. It's an all white pair of sunglasses. They got a little black uh, coloring right here in the middle with yellow lenses. They're fire, I ain't gonna lie. Definitely, if you want people to like to break their necks looking at you, like these, like the glasses right here, like you need these right here. I almost forgot to add this last accessory that I picked up at Dover Street Market, New York. Uh, this Comme des Garçons scarf. Uh, definitely a hard ass scarf. I ain't gonna lie, CDG is becoming my favorite brand. The main line, not the play, not the heart John. on that. The main line, Comme des Garçons. Uh, yeah, man. great material, black, white, and gray. CDG logos all around the scarf. 
Uh, I did pay around sixty dollars for this. Um, yeah, man. Shout out Ray Calcuba. You know what I mean? Word. Next item are is these Yeezys right here, man. You feel me? Look, I ain't gonna lie. I came up on these. Man. I ain't gonna lie. I seen the prices on these on like Grailed and Stock X. I was like, yeah, no, I ain't paying for these. Like, mad dumb expensive. But I got good price for these. Shout out to Plug. You feel me? We're in these like every day. Mad comfy, like word. You feel me? Easy slides. You probably thought they were the foam runners. I know, you know, you been like, ah, you got the foam runners. Nah, man, you feel me? I might get those soon though. I got these slides. These are comfy as well. I rock these shit like every day. So, yeah, man. Ain't nothing to it. These like the tan versions. I don't know what exact colorway these are called, but they're tan. You feel me? They're tan. Uh, next up I got is this plain white button up shirt from H&M like I said H&M they got a high quality but if you need essentials definitely the store for you um, definitely gonna go with a lot of fits that I'm gonna rock for the fall try to go for that button up like ASAP NAS Tyler creator type vibe you feel me so yeah I'm gonna put my own spin into that so I definitely need this I pay like $8 for this so you know what I mean ain't like too much to it but yeah all right next time I got is this fishnet shirt now you probably like yo what are you doing with this fishnet like where like what are, you, what are you doing with this like you trying to go like you, you kinky or something like no bro you feel me um just know i seen uh who i seen rock this i seen asap nas rock this and i was like yo that look hard like the way he put it together is hard like i'm not gonna wear this like bare chest like word like definitely gonna rock this with a lot of fits on top of each other like you layer it together um, but yeah, man, I got this from Buffalo Exchange again. You feel me? This was like probably like nine dollars, so can't beat that price. But yeah, man, on to the next item. Next item I got is this Cash Money record shirt from the hundreds from this store called Sneaker Junkies. If you're from Mass, from Boston, check out Sneaker Junkies, they got mad stuff in there. Things like the top of Newberry Street, so go check them out. Mad Fire, uh pieces in there but yeah man i seen this i was like yo this is hard like if only it was like lil wayne on it you feel me because lil wayne my favorite rapper of all time you feel me but juvenile i'll go juvenile catch my records you see on the back right here the hundreds get the juvenile name logo right there got some sparkles in it. little like some dvs on me you feel me dvs on my t-shirt you know what i mean word and i got the little crazy artwork juvenile the hundreds on the bottom, yeah, man, this shirt's hard. Especially the olive, too, it's different, you feel me? I need more color in my closet, so. Yeah, man, I had to cop it. All right, next time I got is this knitwear polo t-shirt from Bloomingdale's in New York. Uh, the brand is called Sandro Paris. You already know from, from, from the name alone, you know it's expensive, you feel me? If he has Paris in the name, in the brand name, just know you paying bread. I ain't gonna lie, they're running your pockets up. But yo, this shirt, Great quality, it looks fire on me, I ain't gonna lie. I tried it on, I was like, yo, this might be the BA fit right here, right? So it's definitely like some like, you know what I mean? Very simple, not doing too much, but like the way like the material on it, the way the cut is where you have the, for the, the V shape right here, you feel me? Shows up the chest right here, you know what I mean? Like, look, if you try to be cozy, this is a shirt right here, man, I ain't gonna lie. It was like 250, but yeah, 50% off, so I got it for like 100, so. I couldn't beat that, I had to cop it. But yeah, man, that is the last items for t-shirts. This item I got is also from New York. It's this undercover cardigan that I got from a store called Secondhand Street. Go check them out, you feel me? This is in New York, so shout out to my, all my New Yorkers that may be watching, I don't know if you're from New York, comment down below if you're from New York, or whatever state you're from, comment down below. But yeah, man, nice store, they got mad like designer for like, thrift prices like I want to say like thrift prices but you know thrift prices like you know, under like $20 like you could pay like if you pay $100 in a thrift store you're probably getting like I don't know how many items you getting mad items I think I probably pay like a hundred it has a sheer material in the inside I would say this is like a wool material on the outside it's very long it goes over my waist so it's fire man I ain't gonna lie no buttons on it that's the only thing I I wish it had buttons on it but it's all good, you know what I mean? This right here is different. Like, I don't, I, I don't think I wore anything close to this. Like, the old cozy, like, I would not be rocking this. Like, word, I would not be rocking this. 
but yo, ASOS, I probably paid like $15 for this too, uh, Buffalo Exchange as well, again, but yeah man, shout out to them, shout out to ASOS, and we are on to the next item, next item I got is this hoodie from a store called Thousand Degrees, it's in the Braintree South Shore Mall, um, second floor, got good items in there too, but this is the item that definitely caught my eye. I needed more color in my closet because I basically have like basically just black. I go <laughs> like I have a few colors right here, but if you don't see like back here, like back here is all black, all black. And you see some of the stuff I already caught black. You feel me? Um, but yeah, I need more color, need more vibrant colors. So I caught this. It says "Love Is War" on the front. Has some bullet holes right here. Next time I got is this two-piece combo you feel me this tracksuit I caught from Zara right here it is this top piece right here jacket right here and then I got the pants as well you feel me this color is so fire it it it, it just goes with my you feel me like look like if yeah you feel me like look I love the cream color the green on the sides you feel me great great material from Zara. Uh, shout out to them. On to the next one. Alright, the next item I have is this uh, Columbia uh, Windbreaker that I caught from say with me, Buffalo Exchange, you feel me? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, man, I love the color on it. It has this, like, turquoise color on the inside right here. Uh, there you go. Turquoise color right here. And most of it's purple and black. So I love the crazy combo. It's definitely giving me some 90s vibes, some Pierre Born vibes. Um, yeah, man. I wore it a few times on my Instagram too. So go follow that. For me, like, like, what are you doing? Like, follow the Instagram word. Like, like, you still here. Like, you still watch my video right now. All right. Last item is this vintage Ralph Lauren jacket, puffer jacket. Um, again. It's black. Um, I need more colors, but I needed a black puffer. I go. I don't have no black puffers in my closet. You know, I have a lot of black stuff. I don't have a puffer jacket that's black. So I cop this. You feel me? I got it from Buffalo Exchange. You feel me? I think I paid between forty to sixty dollars. Um, not too bad, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Honest. It's just a regular black Ralph Lauren puffer jacket. Um, yeah. That's really about it, honestly. I think, yeah, that is all of it. Don't focus. Gravity. Thank you. Why are you cheesing? <laughs> Yo, wow. That's the end of the video, man. I hope you uh, like this back to school. Uh, what I say back to school? Yeah, I'll say back to school hall because I am going back to classes next week. So I'm trying to figure out these fits. If you want to see those fits, make sure you. You feel me? Like, you already know what I'm gonna say, man. Dude, follow the Instagram right now, man. You feel me? Uh, but yeah, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video, man.